I am so excited to show you guys how I built this little fantasy house in Minecraft. And because I really love the so What it What are you no get get just just scrap get get out Ah finally there Ugh, just roll the intro. So I guess this episode, we're just hopping straight into the fun. So if you look here, you're gonna see a few different sets of checkered wool. And each one of these represents a nice little, you know, layout of the house. That red and white circle on the left is gonna represent our tower. And the main body of the build is represented in that black and yellow construction-like tape. And then in the orange and blue, brand colors by the way, is gonna be a cute little deck that we're gonna incorporate. And guys, if this gets at all too fast for you, just pause it, you know, take a look, take some measurements, and you know, just have a good old vibe and time with it. But as I always like to do, I wanna start and just get my land and the plot that I'm working with put together. And then I wanna start getting my struts in place, the, the log pillars that, you know, keep the whole house together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place in the smooth cut sandstone at the bottom and mix in some sand as well as some smooth sandstone throughout the wall and add in the stairs and slabs to sort of break up the wall so it's not so flat and boring. We're not about vanilla on this server, we want to have a little bit of Rocky Road because actually Rocky Road's delicious, absolutely. Uh, you're going to see that I also added in some trap doors and some signs that kind of help give it, you know, a little bit of a uh, break of it. Differentiates the build a little more. Again, we're not going for that vanilla look here. Made this cute little crenellation that sort of arches over our little deck door right here kind of looks like a little bit of a crown and that's what i was thinking when looking at this beauty if we start stripping away our layout for the deck and we can start replacing that wool with some of the blocks and in theme the outside layer is gonna still be our beautiful spruce I place some spruce planks in between every bit of log, and you're gonna see why in a second. Uh, this is hopefully gonna create a cool yet simplistic effect that's still gonna make it look of, like a very polished build. And here it is right now. I'm putting in the trap doors, and those trap doors, it's gonna help create a little bit of depth on the side of the fence. And then I added the fence gates. Well, they're not very functional as you can just open them up and walk right off. They, it gives a nice aesthetic look to this house. This next bit was a bit tricky for me. It took me a couple tries, but I had a lot of fun doing it. After some inspiration of different designs online, I figured I'd try alternating trap doors to use that as a type of awning design and that really I think blended it together and I'm surprised that the jungle trap doors worked so well with the build the more you know coming around the backside of the house that I'm currently adding in the same setup that we got sparsely placing some sand on the side and keeping smooth sandstone as the main meat and potatoes of our wall but you're gonna notice right here, I'm actually making somewhat of a fantasy window. This was inspired by B00, one of his latest Hermitcraft episodes. You should check it out if you haven't already. Just going through now and getting in our roofing layout. You know, it's gonna be a similar setup to the rest. It's gonna be starting shallow at the bottom. And as we get towards the top of the peak, we get more aggressive with our sloping. And you're gonna notice that this roof is perpendicular and it's gonna be crossing into our other roof that is on the other side of this build it's going to create kind of like a t-shape right now that that's sort of the goal that i'm going for 
gonna be symmetrical and it's gonna be a t-shape it'll be beautiful on the second layer i won't be doing much in terms of our windows it's just going to be some simple fences as well as some planks to help connect everything together give it a more old-fashioned look something a little more rickety Now this is probably one of the two most intimidating parts about this house. And this roof, it appears very complex and very meticulous, but trust me when I say it was completely random. You can't really screw this process up because it's more of an art form. There's no right way to art. All I'm doing is I'm taking similarly palleted blocks, in this case the warped planks, the dark prismarine, the warped trap doors, the warped blocks, and I'm just placing them down in a very random pattern that still follow the curvature of the roof. And you're also going to notice these like spruce trap doors and spruce signs. I want to make it look like the roof was shiplapped together or it's kind of weathered some rough terrains and we're using that as a way to patch up some odd jobs around the roof. start working on the tower this nice little chunk of draft that we we've just got hanging out on the side of this thing so i replaced our wool with the stone template so it's following the same shape but we're just replacing the blocks and you're going to notice that i'm using some coal ore some mossy cobble I i'm breaking up the build by using different types of blocks that follow the same color palette and the way I like to do this is I like to get my general shape and structure. You're even going to see I made this like kind of rectangular tower. This is just to help add a little bit of thickness to the build. So I can sort of chisel and add extra bits and bobs where needed. And all you really need to do is get your predetermined shape and just start randomly placing different blocks that fit your build. I'm getting some andesite in there. I'm tossing in some, some walls, some mossy. I don't even know what I'm doing. But... I do know the general shape that I'm trying to go for. And if I know the shape and I know the block palette, everything else will come together over time. Now we're getting on the fun stuff. So I top off our tower at the top here and I just get the general outline once more and then I start lining it with the fences and some open fence gates too. You're gonna see I'm putting in some crimson and I chose the crimson rather than doing the warp to again, create a little bit of contrast to make it stand out from the regular roof that I have just a little bit more. And it's a little tough to follow along and maybe I'll toss in a uh, schematic for you guys if you want to get the full build block by block. But the best advice I can give when generating these very spiky gothic like roofs is to just give it time and just to work on it over and over again. I didn't just throw this up in one simple go. This took a few different tries and, and took some time just sitting down with it and just trying to digest the different elements that this roof has to offer. Using the walls followed by the fence and iron bars like you see here, that kind of helps create a little bit more smoothness and it helps smooth out the edges so the shape isn't so rough and it, it gives it a little bit more curvature, which is really good, especially from a distance. Look at this little beauty. Oh my God, it's so, I, I really like it. It's very adorable, a little quaint, a little beautiful. There's some couple exterior bits I wanna to touch up on. So we add a little more life to the build, similar to our blacksmith house. Like right here, I kinda of wanna add in a little farm area to make this seem like the little worker here 
is actually a farmer and maybe he stores his wheat inside this silo right here and add a little couple natural points of interest that really bring this build together and of course add a little walkway right over here so he can connect into the roads yeah which we haven't built yet we're gonna get to that in a little bit i, I promise i promise but once again guys we are gonna oh wow my huh Oh, <laughs> I guess the new shaders I'm using kind of make me look like Little Wayne with my, my 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 grill on my teeth. Can you see it? Can can, can you can you see it? En en enough squ enough goofing around. I think once again it's going to be time to squiddle, squaddle, and break a sweat. So as you can see, thanks for coming. By the way, Branzi, it's it's great uh -huh, to uh, uh -huh. great to have you here. Uh, the the insides. Uh -huh. uh, we're newly renting out the place. We're currently waiting on uh, furniture. IKEA will be here like in twelve minutes. Who knows? So first off, I like your uh, your 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 posts here. This is nice. Little lanterns add to the area, light it up. Not too prominent. I like it a lot. Great job. Thank I you, thank uh, you. I really like that I can walk in and out of this fence. Whenever I please. Yeah, absolutely. And so, and things can walk back in and out. That's nice. And, uh, let's talk about the, let's talk about your, your windows over here. So this circular Hobbit window, I feel like I could go on a magical journey to Middle Earth by just standing close to this thing. Fantastic job. Great work. Oh. Choking up. Thank you. Just, I, I need a minute. I, 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 I need a minute. Hold on. I just need there's some, some on the fly maintenance going on. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, I really like that you use trap doors oh, over thank the water you. sources. That's, this is great. It's Fantastic a functional work, thing. I had way. this I mean, just in the works from the beginning. This is super cool, for real. I like this a lot. The roof is is fantastic. I think that the way that you combine this, like the way you brought it all together, because when you think of this structure, you've got really like three elements, right? You've got a structure going this way with the roof, you got a structure going this way, and you have a tower. Like, this is really not an easy thing to pull off, and I think you did a good job. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Branzi ended up liking this cute little house, and I hope all of you did too, because I really had a lot of fun making this, and while it looks very complicated, the general idea that he kind of broke it down to when he reviewed it is basically all it is. It's just a little house that goes this way, combined with a little house that goes this way and a little tower that goes this way. So that's really all this little house is, and then with a little extra added detail. And I really, really hoped you liked this style of video and the little tutorial we put together for this. But as always, don't forget to squiddle, squaddle, and subscribe. <laughs>